So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead, a quick video drop off for you. So we've talked about raw milk before. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right now, if you have deep questions and concerns about raw milk and whether it's right for you or your family, please do your own research. I'm not even gonna touch that hot mess. <laughs> so, but what I am gonna do here on my channel and, and express to you is what has worked for me. I have found that since I have had raw milk in my diet for the past three years, the incredible amount of wonderful things that have happened. I have a better immune system. I lose weight. I, I posted when I started milking Bubba, and this is with cow and with goat milk, which I'm finding, um, I found when I started drinking raw milk from Miss Bell, <clears throat> excuse me, that my hair started growing faster, my skin was really bright, my nails, I couldn't clip my nails fast enough. It was already in summertime, so I really couldn't manage uh, monitoring if I was losing weight or not because I tend to fluctuate. I fluctuate, I have noticed for the past three years, I have about a 12 to 15 pound fluctuation every single year. I get down to about, when it's peak summer, when we're really, really working a lot in the heat, I get down to about 129 pounds, give or take. By the time I get past post Christmas, because you know we're eating jam cake and Appalachian apple stack cake and sausage balls and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I'm not gonna deny myself of treats and all of that, I fluctuate up to about 143, 142 to 144 pounds. I hit 144 this year, woo! So, but what I have noticed is I haven't really changed much of my diet. Now, I am trying to eat healthy in terms of drinking lots of water. I am um, eating a lot of um, oranges and, and clementines. Um, but I'm not trying to keep things away either. I'm just trying to make sure I'm adding my supplements because it's flu season. And oh my word, everybody's sick. So I'm drinking my glass of raw milk, which is about a cup to two cups a day. I just drink it. I drink it first thing in the morning with some water. If I don't finish it, I'd probably have it done by lunch. Everything goes really well for me when I'm getting that amount of raw milk in my diet every day. My stomach is not upset. I have really nice energy. I'm not sick, knock on wood. Oh my gosh, please don't, please Lord. Doing everything possible there, flu season. But what I noticed the other day, and my husband can vouch for this, I weighed myself after Christmas into early January. I can't, I can't tell you the exact date, but it was the first, by the new year, and I was 144 pounds. I weighed myself about five days ago, and I was down to 139. Now, that could have been off a little bit. Maybe, I could have, I, maybe I've lost seven pounds, maybe I've only lost three. But what I can tell you is, is I haven't tried. What I have been doing is try to have a healthy immune system, and I'm telling you, if you meet me at the Piggly Wiggly and you say, Tara, what's the secret to life? I'm going to say raw milk. So do your research. Do what works best for you. So I'm kind of comparing how goat milk is working for me versus how cow milk is working for me. Both are great. People ask me the, the difference in taste. What I can tell you is by the time I drink my cow milk, it tastes more a little bit more like skim because, see, I skim the fat off. All that cream rises, the cream always rises to the top, baby. And I take that off, and so the milk does seem to be thinner. It does have a little bit different of a texture. This is not the case here. Now, I will say Bubba's milk, if you let it set up over a day or two, you do get, a, you do get some fat on top. I drink it. I don't skim that off, I just drink it all. And I love it, love it, love it. The taste is a little bit more like whole milk, a little bit thicker. Some people describe it as being a little bit sweeter. 
I haven't experienced that as being so much of the case. That's also going to be dependent upon how you feed your animal, what you feed your animal. Are they getting wild onions out there? How much raw milk versus what is their supplementation? What are, are you feeding them grain and all of that stuff, which you're, most of us, if you're milking anything, you're going to have to supplement them with grain. Okay, I'm just going to tell you right now. So anyway, what I want you to do is do your own research and think about these things because I think just naturally getting into a rhythm of a workflow on your homestead, um, you're going to find, especially with women, we're supposed to put on weight generally over time as we age, and that is okay. That's our body's defense. But also, you're going to see an ebb and flow with how much you work and what time of year and really what are you supplementing your diet with so i'm not hitting the p90x or the gym uh homesteading in a way doing like what we do is like hitting the gym anyway but as far as heavy cardio right now or being on a treadmill i'm not doing that i'm not doing any of that i'm just doing my normal daily routines working my farm working my kids trying to make good decisions, but I haven't cut anything out. Most people say, oh, I cut out sugar. Oh, I've cut out bread. Honey, I've been making more bread than you can shake stick at. So I just find it unique that my husband said, how much do you weigh? And I said, I've lost five pounds. And I said, I've been milking Bubba for almost three to four weeks. And he said, there you go. So something to consider. Just dropping this off. Hope y'all are doing well. We're doing good. Let's get more raw milk. See you on the next video.